At Eternal 74, the consensus two best welterweights on the Eternal roster. In champion, a Caleb Crazy Horse rideout and number one contender, Joseph Luciano, will have five rounds or less to determine who will be crowned the king of the Eternal welterweight division. In casting an eye over the entire Eternal roster, I don't think that there is an athlete who boasts a more fitting fight name than Caleb Crazy Horse Rideout. As an unorthodox striker with a tendency to wow fans with flashy techniques and shocking fight-ending moments, when Caleb Rideout is fighting, you're best to clear the schedule. Currently riding a six-fight winning streak, which includes dominant submission victories over Tristan Murphy and Blake Shepard, Joseph Luciano has undeniably cemented his position as the number one contender in the eternal welterweight division. Boasting one of the more diverse takedown arsenals in the division and always showing a propensity for finding his opponents next in unorthodox positions, many believe that Joseph Luciano's clinical grappling approach is the perfect recipe to upset the champion. For Caleb to retain his title, his footwork and volume will be key in avoiding the grappling exchanges and keeping this fight on the feet where many expect him to hold the advantage. For Joseph to look to implement his grappling prowess, he's going to need to pick his takedown entries well in order to get a hold of Crazy Horse. If Joseph is able to get Caleb down, he will need to look to that ability to maintain top position and stuff the get-up attempts in order to frustrate Caleb into a movement which opens up a submission opportunity. Eternal 74's welterweight championship bout has the fan base divided as to whether it'll be the unpredictable stylings of defending champion Caleb Crazy Horse Rideout reigning supreme or will the suffocating top pressure of Joseph Luciano lead to another technical dismantling of a welterweight elite. We'll find out when it all goes down, live and exclusive on UFC Fight Pass.